we will see in an introductory way in this class what dynamic blocks are and how to define them. To begin with, we open the available file, which contains the inserted dynamic block. Dynamic blocks are smart blocks, which contain some actions that facilitate, for example, alignment, positioning and rotation of the block in the project. In the case of this block of Illuminaire, we have an action that allows you to modify the dimensions by selecting some models registered in this list. C. With a double click on the block, we access the block editor to see the tools for defining dynamic blocks. See that here in these palettes we have some parameters and actions, which can be linked to the block to give you intelligence. Parameters are responsible for defining the elements that will be modified by the actions that will be linked. Here we can enter parameters that will modify, for example, the dimension, the amount of copies, the alignment or the angle of rotation of the block. Actions define what will be done in the block, whether it will be moved, scaled, will have its dimension modified, if it will be copied multiple times, among other existing actions. Finally, in this tab we have a set of parameters and actions that can be applied to the blocks. If you wish to specialize in this subject, Render provides a specific course that teaches you how to create dynamic blocks with all existing parameters and actions. We saw in this class what a dynamic block is, how it is characterized and what resources are available to define it. 